Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Magandang araw sa mga Citizen Armed Forces of the Philippines. This is uh, First Lieutenant Comey, Reserve Philippine Army. Sa video ito ay tatalakay natin ang mobilization of reservists or reserve force. But before that, ay inaanyayahan ko po kayong mag-subscribe sa ating channel, Reserve Officer Block. Para sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe at uh, pag-click na rin po ang notification bell para maging updated tayo sa ating mga videos na i-upload. Now, punta tayo sa units or call to active duty, active duty ng reserve units o lahat ng reserve units sa buong Pilipinas. Lahat ng re ready reserve, standby reserve at mga re retired reserve. So, ito, ito yung tatlong Uh, types ng uh, reserve no? so i-activate lahat ang mga units niyan if, in case meron full of mo full mobilization na mangyayari so ano tong full mobilization this will be done through the act of the congress uh, through the joint act of the congress and the president of the philippines So, lahat ng mga units sa buong Pilipinas ay i-activate in case there is an invasion, rebellion, or public safety requires it. No? So, sa buong Pilipinas yan. Yun ang full mobilization. So, number two is, ito yung tinatawag na partial mobilization so ang sa partial mobilization ay ito yung pagmobilize ng mga reserve units in a particular areas or localities lamang no? so marami rin no? kapag partial, sinasabi mo partial so iilan or several uh, units of the different or uh, several units of a certain localities will be called to active duty kung kinakailangan so it this will be done also through the act of the congress and or through uh, the act of the congress through the joint act of the congress and the president himself so hindi ito mangyayari kapag uh, presidente lamang ang tumawag or congress no? kailangan join sila so, full mobilization and partial mobilization and the number three is the selective mobilization so selective mobilization ay ito yung immobilize ang uh, is, isang ready reserve unit sa particular area para i-address ang insurgency or rebellion no? so only the ready reserve unit lamang ang ang i-activate so hindi nakasali yung mga re, uh, standby reserve at retired reserve no? so and this will be done no? so hindi na kailangan ang uh, concurrence ng kongreso rito so sa first mobil, uh, sa full mobilization and the partial mobilization ay kailangan ang uh, through the joint act of the congress and the President of the Philippines. However, the selected mobilization ay ang uh, President lamang. No? So, siya lang ang mag-activate ang particular ready reserve unit sa isang locality kapag may emergency no? or i-address, kailang i-address ang insurgency or rebellion kapag kinakailangan. So, ano yung mga benefits ng uh, ng mga reserve units or reserve force, reservists during mobilization. So, kung ano yung mga benefits ng regular force, ay matatanggap rin po ng mga reserve units or reserve reservists during partial and full mobilization. However, uh, on selected mobilizations, ay meron tinatawag na civil auxiliary service at military auxiliary service so wala po tong compensation yung civil at military auxiliary service 
under ng selected mobilization. So, ang may uh, full compensation lamang ay yung uh, kapag inactivate ang mga reserve units at i-address ang uh, national emergency through the full mobilization and partial mobilization. Ang auxiliary service ay under sila ng uh, selected mobilization. So, under ng selected mobilization, which is the president, ang um, siyang mag-activate lamang at no need na yung concurrence ng, ng Congress. No? So, ito yung mga volunteers ng mga reservists in a particular locality na mag-render ng kanilang service through civil auxiliary service and military auxiliary service. So, ano tong civil auxiliary service? Ito yung mga serbisyo na ibibigay ng mga reservists upang i-address ang uh, alimbawa ay magbigay sila ng humanitarian assistance and disaster response kapag may nangyari. Lindol, bagyo, baha. No? Or mga mag-deliver ng mga basic services sa isang uh, particular locality. So, i-activate ng Pangulo uh, through or by this uh, what is called civil auxiliary service. So, voluntary po to Wala po beneficyo. Pero, meron po itong mga allowances. No? Na particularly subsistence allowance na ibibigay sa mga na-activate through civil auxiliary service. At yung isang auxiliary service ay yung, yung military auxiliary service. So, uh, sa military auxiliary service ay uh, authorized na magdala ng armas ang uh, mga sundalo para i-address ang insurgency. So, kailangan yun kasi it is to address the local insurgency, insurgency of a particular area ng uh, local government. No? So, volunteer din to yung mga military auxiliary service. Wala po silang allowances na matata- ah, wala po silang pay uh, and compensation na matatanggap. However, uh, they are entitled to full hospitalization. Uh, burial benefits also are entitled to the civil and auxiliary service. Yun ay mga voluntary service na tinatawag para i-address ang local threat or emergency ng isang lokalidad. Pero kapag mayroong tinatawag na partial or uh, full mobilization sa buong Pilipinas ay uh, meron pong full benefits ang mga reserves. So kung ano yung ano yung sweldo ng regular force ay matatanggap rin po ng, re, uh, ng uh, reserve force or reserves during national mobilization or, or partial mobilization through the joint act of the Congress and the President of the Republic of the Philippines. So this is under the Rep- Republic Act 1777. Kaya inihahanda natin ang mga reserves at meron tayong annual active duty training na tinatawag. So annually ay nagpa-perform sila at nagti-training upang i-upgrade ang kanilang skills and knowledge about military. Uh, para in case of emergency, uh, the president may call on the people to defend the state. No? So, nasa constitution po yan. 1987 constitution. Whenever it becomes necessary, the president may call on the people to defend the state and in fulfillment thereof. All citizens may render either military or civil service. So, quoted po yan sa 1987 Constitution. So, yun po ang uh, types of mobilization ng reservists. Kung paano sila i-activate at magiging uh, o maglingkod sa government. So, yung mobilization, mayroon po yung mga full benefits Yung auxiliary service ay wala pong uh, full benefits. Ang makukuha lamang po ay uh, sa, madil- sa madaling salita na auxiliary service ay volunteer no? lamang. 
ng mga reserve units to address the local threats of a particular community. So, meron din silang uh, allowances and burial benefits in case na may mangyaring hindi maganda or masama sa mga reserves. So, lahat ng mga ready reserve units uh, meron pong burial benefits and allowances in case na mag-render po sila ng military auxiliary service at or and or civil auxiliary service so ang military auxiliary service pwede silang magdala ng armas at i-issuean sila ng armas ng government ang civil auxiliary service ay hindi po sila i-issuean ng armas So, ang civil, civil auxiliary service at military auxiliary, auxiliary service ay under po ito ng selected mobilization. So, una, yung full mobilization through the, act of the Cong Joint Act of the Congress and the, the President himself. Pangalawa ay partial mobilization uh, through the act, Joint Act of the Congress and the President also himself. And lahat ng mga reserves na i-activate dito ay magiging kagaya na or i-incorporate or ihahalo sa regular force uh, through these uh, types of uh, or through this uh, mobilization process ng Republic Act 1777. So, yun po ang mobilization ng reserves sa regular or to expand uh, the regular force in case of emergency arises or kinakailangan maraming maraming salamat po and good day sa ating lahat thank you